I'm saying bye bye to my bike. See my bike in Singapore. Bye. <laughs> It's right here. Fantastic driver. He told me I can do anything in his car. Like, of course, I think within reason. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Mike. Uh, we're just headed to the airport right now. Um, yeah, pretty excited. Pretty excited to head over to Singapore and Malaysia. Um, yeah, I just hope that the flight will be uneventful, nice and boring. Watch a few movies, perhaps. Uh, that my bike will show up uh, intact in one piece. So. Yeah, just headed out from my place and it should be about 20 minutes to the airport, maybe less. Um, 15? 16. Six, 16 minutes, oh, that's super precise. The traffic will be clear. Fantastic. The weather is nice. So Kamalji is uh, quite happy, he says he's finally got a YouTuber in his, in his car. Yeah, for the first time. <laughs> for the for first, the first time, time in the like three or four years. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing for me, thanks for you actually. Oh, no worries. So I will, I will let you, uh, I'll, let, I'll give you my YouTube um, channel later on and you can uh, check it out. Oh, definitely, my definitely. I appreciate that. You're looking good. Oh, thank you, thank you. I actually just changed my hair color back to, to black. It was blonde. Thank God you changed it to black, bro. <laughs> thank God, oh. You know, blonde boy, maybe from Russia or German somewhere. <laughs> Nice flight. Enjoy the enjoy the views up there. No, oh, I think I will. I think I will. So it will be good actually. The weather is good up there in these days for the cycling. Ah, oh, yeah. do you cycle yourself? A little bit, you know. A little bit. Ah, oh, nice. My son is Amarjot. He is fond of cycling. Nice, nice. So where how whereabouts do you guys cycle around the neighborhood? Yeah, actually, you know, there's a white cement park at the Kavasham. Oh, Kavasham, the White Valley. Yeah, yeah. So you can take your bicycle behind the car and just. Take your kid to Very nice. a proper cycling road. You know, but it's good for cycling lines. That's good. That's true. For you guys who don't know where Kavisham is, I'll put a map right there. Uh, it's a it's a great place for you to bring family, friends, children especially, because uh, you can go in there, you pay a fee, and there's a train, I think. Train zoo through. as well. There's a zoo, yeah, and you can pet the koalas. Um, yeah, you can feed the. If you like koalas, that's cool. I don't really like them. They stink. <laughs> they look cute in photos, but uh, they, they kind of smell. Uh, you can feed the kangaroos. Although I must say the kangaroos look a bit yep. over, overfed. Yeah, actually there are so many things now. They, they're big. Uh, there's a tractor museum. There's a snake museum. You can go and check the, you know, how to get the wools from the sheep. Oh, a sheep shearing. Yeah, so, so many things about that's the kids. That's it, that's it. The so holidays are coming, you know. Kavisham, yes, Kavisham Park. So we'll there's the link below. Uh, you can go check out Kavisham Park. Kavisham Park, if you guys are watching, you better pay me for this advertisement. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Should be mine. So, Kamal Jeet uh, comes from the northern part of India, and we're just talking about food. Uh, so, he asked me if I if I like food, and I, I said, I like I love chili. And he goes like, what? Yes, I love chili. And so, one of my favorite things is the naan. And I've been taught not to say naan bread, because that's yeah, something naan different. Naan. Just naan. So, naan, that's Got it. it. Naan, but naan, whatever you want. Yes, none. So forget the bread part, drop it. Yep. So um, yeah, tell me a little bit more about the food differences between the north and the south. Actually, North Indians they move, they made the food more delicious. Are this healthy or unhealthy? Oh, really are you saying care. that your food is not delicious? No, delicious, <laughs> delicious and yummy. That's what the North Indians do. Like they fry onions, tomatoes, and everything. Yeah. Chili according to your taste. South Indians, you can say, they don't fry much of the things. Okay. They just fry the bit more healthy sort of stuff but chili is a lot of chili oh god i love the chili you know man. hyderabad is in india south india uh -huh. they can make the spice uh, just for from chili only oh just really? imagine nothing else oh, just chili just chili oh, <laughs> oh my god oh. <laughs> burning mic you know with all due respect to everybody in, in western culture people don't like that much chili mm -hmm. so they can half spoon of that you know the pickle yeah and they can have two three naans with that only just oh, with wow. half that much chili. So if you ever go to India, North I'm, Indians, I'm hungry. variety of food, yummy, delicious, fried, so much ghee on that. What's your that favorite North Indian food? It, it, it depends on varieties, you know, like if you like chicken, butter chicken. Oh, Germany, butter chicken's oh, yum. Chicken korma. Oh, the kormas. Oh. And there's a traditional Indian style chicken. If you go up there, there's kadai chicken. Mm, what's that? Kadai chicken is 
it's sort of a chicken, but there's a recipe to make it. So you know, there's like a process. A, that, is that batter or something? Yeah, you can say a sort of like that. Yummy. And there's so many stuff out. If you go to vegetarians, North Indians, mm -hmm. a lot might. Veggies, a lot. On it. Yummy. You know, yummy. If you can, Try whatever you want. I've right? actually tried the. Uh, there's a cauliflower dish. You're right, Mike. That's uh, actually, fried. There's so many actually. There's so many cauliflower. There's dals up there. There's cabbage up there. There's carrot, potatoes, tomato. They made in North India. They made tomatoes and potatoes only. Mm. They white chickpeas, black chickpeas, dals. Then a variety, Mike. You can go to India for a month and you say every day I need something new. You will get everything. Wow. Every day something new. Do you know if cycling is big in India? Yeah, there's a lot of competitions up there actually. Really? If you go to the North India, mm -hmm. so you can say near the Himalayas and everything. Yeah. There are the, there's the proper cycling, you know. Cycling in the mountains, one of the best things, right? So road cycling? Yep. Oh wow, okay, that's kind of cool. Road cycling in India. Put on your wish list, mate. Might have to list. put it on my bucket list to, uh, to head out to India. Uh, that's pretty cool. Remember Wait, that's pretty to subscribe cool. his channel, Mike. Oh, thank you. He's a multicultural guy. I'm actually thinking, you know, like uh, going to India and uh, riding and, and doing a vlog on all the different things. Not India, oh eat. my god, you're oh. gonna love it. Oh, you're gonna love it. Well, my tummy handle it though. Oh, it will be hard, it will be hard. <laughs> Like day, day one, um, num, num. oh, I got the shits. <laughs> three times in a day. Indians, they eat three times in a day, Mike. Breakfast, yep. then the lunch, mm -hmm. then the tea and snacks, then the dinner. Oh, that's four times. Oh, <laughs> tea snacks, they would, we don't count, actually. Uh, and if you drink, then it will be five times. Man, sounds very good, sounds very good. So, yeah, maybe we should all check out um, cycling in India. Now, now we know that... Um, in Southeast Asia at least, uh, in Korea, in China, especially, there's been a huge boom in cycling and perhaps in India as well. So yeah, you should check it out. Good night. Put on your bucket list, mate. Just about to reach the airport and you know that because Costco is on the horizon. The weather is nice. Yeah, the mountains of the car Yeah, there? that's right. This has been a very enjoyable Uber ride. Oh, cheers, mate. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. Five stars, man. Six stars. I will give ten stars, Nathan. <laughs> five for you, five for the channel. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is great. This is great. That will be a memorable journey for me as well. Very memorable for me, for Very sure. memorable for me as well, right? Nathan is a good guy. And just support him. We should support some good people because it's very important. Uh, to, you. you know, not definitely, it's not about you, might actually. If you will support the good people, then they can make a balance in the society, might. Ah, uh, that is right, that is right. So it's very important to support you. So right outside my left window, uh, that's DFO. And if you go further back left, that's uh, Costco. Lots of people like to do their last minute shopping at DFO and Costco as well. Well, Costco more the locals really. Uh, you, you buy in bulk, but you got to have membership to enter DFO. Uh, really depends what you want. If you're into luxury goods, um, DFO would be the place to go. And they do have some good discounts, usually previous seasons stuff. So if you're not, yeah, if you if you're not too fussed about having not having the latest greatest uh, but you want some luxury stuff yeah DFO is the place to go before you head off to the uh, the airport yeah let me know new big w here oh new shopping mall construction the new shopping mall oh that's crazy construction is going on uh, Perth is going to be like Asia soon You're shopping right, centers right. everywhere I think very few people know that there's a train station in part mm -hmm. that's the train station oh, is that the Metronet one ah uh, yeah you can say So yeah, here we are, almost at the airport. And the bike, Kamalji, thank you so much. No worries, mate, no worries. Thank Hope you, you have a lovely evening and the rest of the journey. I will. I will. I know I've started well with you. So this is Kamal G. See you next time mate. Will do. Subscribe him.
See ya. Ciao for the time. Yes, ciao for now. Just cooing up now. So, yeah, get my boarding pass, get everything checked in. So hopefully it's smooth. It's nice. Saying bye bye to my bike. See my bike in Singapore. Oh. <laughs> so my bike's been checked in, and I'm just headed to the international um, departures. Whew. Big, big experience. Now, um, I didn't know before, but um, your CO2 canisters can't be taken on the plane. So my God confiscated but I like to say that I gave it away to the guy at the counter who rides as well so uh, one CO2 canister gone for me um, looks like I'll have to pick up a few more when I am in Singapore and Malaysia so yeah this is the Perth Airport looking pretty schnazzy looks a lot better than before um, this is the Qantas terminal um, slash domestic as well it's actually about the same size as the international one Perth Airport's pretty small, so anyway, we're gonna head through the uh, passenger screening point right here. Won't be able to turn on the camera, so you so customs number one, and it's time to go upstairs to the international side uh, to get cleared. So um, Qantas flies out from the Qantas terminal. So they've got both domestic and international flights flying out from the same airport, but with slightly different, um, slightly different wings, I believe. So over there, Qantas International. I'm still early for my flight. Still very early, so I might grab a bite. Played the second round of customs, and uh, so I am headed to my gate. Going to be interesting. It's a bit of a long wait. Time is before 12 o'clock. The flight's scheduled to depart at one, just past one o'clock. So, got a bit of a wait. Been doing some editing on my laptop, and uh, pretty much finished episode 33 of my vlog and it is almost time to board the plane just saw the stewardess um, scoot off with the bags so I think we're gonna be on the plane soon just had my lunch and uh, yeah I had the chicken they had three options and, uh, I had the chicken instead of the beef or the um, tikka masala so pretty good the uh, time is about 3.45 We're supposed to reach Singapore about 6.45 so it's another 3 hours, 4, 5, 6, yeah oh, Gonna take a rest and uh, yeah, get back in I'm in Singapore and uh, with uh, but hey. QX here, he's the guy who from Ascent Wheel, so the very man himself. And we are at the Jewel. Have a look here. Yeah. And we're gonna go find some food to eat. So um, hopefully my bike has arrived in one piece. I opened it and had a look, and it seems to be all right. But yeah, uh, we're gonna find out. Fine. Handlebars are fine. Yeah, nothing's broken. So hopefully the derailleur is intact because I didn't take out the derailleur. Mm. Uh, but yeah. If it isn't, we'll fix it tomorrow. All right, we're gonna go eat. Let's go eat. Yeah. All right. Here at Toast Box uh, in Singapore, and uh, QX has gone to buy some food. I'm super excited. Um, he's just told me that tomorrow we're gonna be shooting. Um, yeah, we're gonna be shooting. I don't know shooting what, but apparently I'm gonna be riding and they're gonna be filming me. So. That's going to be interesting. I better not eat too much so I don't get too fat. Here, all the way. Here. Up. All the way to ground. 
here. Cool. So that's, I mean, that's, that's like the total distance. So from there, just reverse and do this whole damn loop again. Um, I can assure you, it is one of the most boring, but um, I mean, it's good for time trials. And it's good for time trials because it's flat relatively and uh, no traffic lights. So, yeah. I mean, if you, if you want something a bit more... Almost 9pm at the Jewel, still with QX. I'm gonna book a car back to my dad's place. He lives north of Singapore in Yishun. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm gonna unpack my bike. And hopefully everything will be fine. The lift is here. Let's go in. Where are we going? Level... Uh, level... One. Level two. Oh, level two. Oh, damn. Yeah, Joel Plus. entrance. Okay, and uh, let's see. We'll get you a. Uh, We're booking six a grab. Seat. Yeah, six seat grab car. I hope this works. Okay, where are we going? I think we're going up to the next floor, right? Okay. Yep. One more. One more up. One more floor. I think everyone's trying to go down. We're going up. Yep. So I had a very nice light dinner, and tomorrow I'm going to his shop. So uh, yeah, gonna be fun. Gonna be fun. Yep. I can't wait to see you there. All right, let's go. Beep beep beep. Beep beep. Oh, behind me is that waterfall thing, but I'm not gonna go there. You gonna see it? Nah, not today, man. I'm tired. All right. Okay, where do we go? Man, the malls here are massive, like nothing like Perth. Multi story and. Perth is like flat. It's quite an experience. Okay, uh, let's see. Level 2. Here. Uh, if you haven't been to Singapore, it's a literal shopping paradise. Like, look at that, all these stores everywhere, and you've got floors of it. It's not nothing like Westfield, where it's like one floor and then a second floor. Uh, Maybe go into Karelian City, it's like two floors. This is, look at that. And downstairs too. Crazy ass. Like shopper's paradise. Shopper's paradise. If you had all the cash to splash. Probably one of the cities you want to go to is Singapore. Other places I can think of, maybe Hong Kong. Um, Japan. London, well, London shopping centers aren't like that. It's mostly quite small. I don't know, where's your favorite shopping space? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Just talking to the camera. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna book it. Okay. Uh, so it's supposed to be a pillar eight. Pillar number eight. So we're just going to the Grab car right now. Grab is like Uber. But I think Uber is out of Singapore. They ran out of business. Because uh, this company called Grab grabbed their business. Sorry, that's a very lame pun. <laughs> Dad joke. Oh, the humidity. Oh, the air feels really, really heavy. This is Pillar 8. Oh, Pillar 8 is over there. The air smells like a mixture of uh, food and water. QX, yeah. I'm not used to the humidity, man. You want to go back inside? No, it's fine. Oh. I'm just thinking the, the breathing, it feels like I'm in a swimming pool. It is pretty much like that. And the temperature? <clears throat> the air is quite heavy. A lot more water in the air than... Uh, usual or then in Perth at least. Can't see me but I'm in a grab taxi here in Singapore headed to my dad's um, in Yishun and I think we're just about approaching Yishun. 
and uh, this uh, grab driver's got a really cool um, collection of uh, little cars very nice see right at the front there Volkswagens are they all VWs? Uh, mostly uh, the four of them is VW the yeah. rest is like uh, Chevy oh nice Maurice Leyland <laughs> very cute very cute <laughs> that's cool